Hello everyone. Welcome back to another listening practice with me, Stephen Ko. The topic of today is future fears. For today's listening practice, you will hear five speakers talking about the troubles that they have because of the weather. Okay. And for your exercise, I've prepared questions or statements that you have to match with the right speakers. So, if you're ready, let's get right to it then, shall we? Okay, so as you can see, there are six statements, A to F, that you have to fit into the speaker 1 to 5. So that means there's one statement that is not needed. But before we continue, all of you will have to prepare a piece of paper and then write down all of the statements into the paper and then after that write down your answers in the paper as well. And of course if you need to pause or rewind this video, you are encouraged to do so. Okay? So, let's get started then. 1. I was on holiday on the island of Rhodes and was determined to get a good tan. One of my friends told me that I could get a much darker brown if I left my expensive sun cream in my hotel room and used locally produced olive oil instead. I was willing to try it, so rubbed it in and lay down on my sunbed. A few minutes later, I felt a terrible burning sensation and had to flee inside for a cold shower. Luckily, I wasn't too badly burned, but I had to keep a shirt on for the rest of the holiday and I went home a strange red colour. Two. We always go travelling during the winter half-term holidays. We like it because we hate crowds and, of course, it's much cheaper. Last year, though, we went to Vienna. Dad had checked the weather forecasts, but as soon as we got off the plane, we realised that our English winter coats were too thin for an Austrian winter. It was freezing. I'd never been so cold. We were determined to see the sights, but we could only stand it for about an hour at a time. We kept having to stop in cafes or restaurants to warm up. It cost mum and dad a fortune. Three. I'm in the Scouts, and last summer we went on a hike in the country. Even though the Scout leaders had advised us to take waterproofs in a rucksack, it was such a beautiful day that I put on a t-shirt and shorts and set off without a coat. Suddenly, halfway through the walk, it started to pour down. At first I tried desperately to find shelter, but the others carried on and I had to stay with them. After a while, I realised that the feeling of rainwater running down my face was quite pleasant, and I stopped worrying. My friends actually looked much more miserable than me in their damp plastic max, and I decided to enjoy being so close to nature. Four. We were on a school skiing trip to Slovenia. It was my first time, and I was enjoying it, although it was more expensive than I had expected. On the last day, the weather forecast said it would be windy and snowy, but I really wanted to go on the slopes one more time. Someone at the hotel advised our teachers to go to a different slope, which was about a kilometre away, and it was perfect. I got on the ski lift and realised I didn't have my goggles with me. I'd left them in the hotel. I didn't really worry, but coming down, I could hardly see a thing. Luckily, there was a shop where I bought a cheap pair for the rest of the day. 5. When we were children, we loved playing dodging the waves. When it was really windy, the sea crashed over the sea wall. It was really dramatic, but not dangerous because there was a metal guardrail to hold on to. 
We would stand at the edge until the last minute, then run away as fast as we could. I was the youngest and always ran first, so one day I decided to show the others that I wasn't afraid. Of course, I got drenched and had to walk home in soaking wet clothes while my friends advised me on what to tell my parents. Okay, so did you get all of those? Right, if you are satisfied with your answers, then please write them down in the paper and then you can submit them to your teachers later for scoring. Okay? Okay, thank you for participating in this exercise. And as always, if you have any questions, you can contact your teachers through their WhatsApps. Alright? I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.